Mountain West Championship game, Fresno State, Boise State. Uh, we've got Boise right now, three, three and a half point home favorites, 53 the total. This game at Albertson Stadium, Boise, of course, uh, gets to host this Mountain West Championship game uh, it, uh, against Fresno. Money's come in on Fresno. Uh, I agree with it. Um, obviously, now you're not getting the best of the number now, but I, I when I look at this game, I think Fresno's got a very good shot winning it. Uh, I like what I'm seeing. Uh, they're, they're playing some dominant football here down the stretch. Since they got Jake Hayner back, it's been a different football team. Both sides of the ball have played better. We know offensively they've obviously been a, a whole hell of a lot fucking better with Jake Hayner than it was with Fife uh, at quarterback. Uh, but really, to me, it's been the defense has picked it up as well uh, in recent weeks. And one thing you have to keep in mind here about this Fresno State offense is they are going up against a Boise secondary that's been strong, but I want to point some things out about this Boise schedule. It's, you got to mention it. I mean, you look at it and you say, wow, third best pass defense in the country. Well, it's all schedule related. Look at Boise's teams they've played. UTEP doesn't throw the football. San Diego State's a terrible pass offense. Colorado State's a horrible pass offense. Nevada's a, a brutal pass offense. Wyoming runs the ball. They don't throw it a ton. Utah State last week actually did have success, you know, throwing the football against them. Of course, you're going to have the third best pass defense in college football based on the numbers when you're playing a bunch of teams that either suck throwing the football or they don't throw the football. I think there was a game there against Air Force, too. Yeah, triple option team. They're not going to throw the football much. I mean, no wonder your pass uh, defense numbers uh, are going to look pretty good uh, right now. Um, so, you know, when I look at it here, uh, it's a situation where, um, be careful looking into that third ranking with Boise State's past defense and thinking it's all what it's cracked up to be. I don't think it is. Um, so, you know, when I look at this matchup here with uh, Fresno and Boise, you know, I look at this as a spot where this is now finally where Boise's secondary is going to get. Maybe they are legit. Maybe they are really good. But how do you know that when you play Wyoming, you play Nevada, you play Colorado State, you play Air Force, a triple option team, you play San Diego State with a limited passing attack downfield, UTEP not known for throwing the football. I mean, how on earth are you, are you going to evaluate that team legitimately uh, in terms of their pass defense? That's the issue here, I think, going into this game with uh, Fresno and Boise. It's going to be, you know, this is the best passing attack maybe they've played all year. I mean, BYU can throw the football, and that's the one team that moved the ball through the air against Boise and the 31-28 loss for Boise against BYU. So, I like Fresno here anyway. As long as it's three and a half, I think it's still worth a look in this game. Uh, Boise has, you know, come back down to earth. Even the offense, don't be fooled by the 42-23 win and cover against Boise. It was one of the worst beats of the year if you had Utah State, and unfortunately I did. I mean, they are going in to score basically a game go-ahead touchdown with like five minutes to go. They get stuffed. And then a big run for Boise to go up by 12. And then Utah, with, and there was like a minute left when they got that touchdown, but you're still safe. It's only a 12-point game. But the one thing you can't have with Utah State getting the ball back is a turnover or a fumble and a fumble return touchdown or a pick six. And guess what happened? Guess what fucking happened? A pick six. And, of course, Boise State returns it, and they win by 19. They get the point spread cover. All-time brutal beat if you were on Utah State last week uh, in that game. Fresno is the look for me. Anything three or more, I like the Bulldogs in this game. And I like the way the offense has played with Talon Green overall since they made the coaching, the coordinator change, since uh, Hank Bachmeyer transferred out. But they have not played nearly as well in tight games, and they have not played – he hasn't played nearly. Remember the BYU game, I don't think he played his best when that game was on the line. That's what concerns me here with Boise's offense. They've been better – but there's been some chinks in the armor with Green the last few weeks. The Wyoming game, they didn't do much on offense. Last week, they were shut down much of the second half until the end when Utah State's defense kind of got tired. Uh, they're going to have to execute in a late game, in a close game. And Taylor and Green, the jury's out still. I know Hayner can execute for me. Hayner's won a bunch of close games with big drives, big touchdowns late in the game, lead his team back. We don't know that yet about this young kid, Dalen Green. So uh, I like Fresno here, plus the points. What do you think here, Connor? I lean, you know, there as well in this game. One thing Fresno has been good lately, but they played nobody and they took care of business though. I mean, Wyoming, Wyoming on the road, 30, nothing though. Um, 
they've been great. Hayner's been good since he's been back. Probably everything we thought he'd do once he came back. I like Fresno too. The dog's been very good in this rivalry. Um, the last few times they meet, and Boise's beat them. I think there's a little bit of revenge on the mind here. You mentioned that Boise game was crazy versus Utah State, and I think Fresno will move it on them. You know, you know, I think this game goes over the total. You know, I, this is an over for me, dead over, and uh, I'm leaning Fresno uh, with you, um, especially if I can get more than three. I like three, and I'll probably take some uh, money line as well.